Welcome everyone and uh, thank you for joining this session. Uh, today you are going to learn how to create an application in under 60 minutes using Oracle Apex. So let's get started. This is the agenda for today. First, I will talk about Oracle Apex. Uh, then I will show you how to create a fully functional application using Oracle Apex. And lastly, I uh, will share some uh, useful links to learn more about Oracle Apex. My name is Monica Godoy. I'm product manager on the Oracle Apex team. I'm based of Colombia and my colleague here, Jason Hannes, will be answering your questions in the Q&A uh, panel. But before to start, I would like to know if this is the first time that you are listening about uh, Oracle Apex or, you, or if you already have, uh, or if you are an Apex developer. So please share with us in the, in the chat from where are you joining and what do you know about Apex? All right, so I would like to know more about you. Okay, so let's get started. What is Oracle Apex? Apex is a low code platform that enables you to build a scalable secure enterprise applications that can be deployed anywhere. With Apex, you can build desktop and mobile web applications that is fully responsive front end. And you can create applications using existing data in your database or Apex can be used um, to serve, to be used as the front end to maintain your data. Most business processes are data driven and Apex provides an easy and elegant way to build a user interface on this data. Oracle Apex is easy to use and easy to learn. The application builder provides a rich browser-based intuitive interface which guides you through the creation of the applications. The powerful components of Oracle Apex enables you to add a high level of functionality to your applications with limited coding. So you can be productive in a week or less. Also, if you know a little bit of SQL, you can flourish in Apex. So rather than you write down a lot of HTML, CSS, or JavaScript to manipulate the data, you can do all natively by SQL. And in case that you are wondering, where is Apex available? So you can run Oracle Apex everywhere on the Oracle Cloud, on-premises, or anywhere else that is an Oracle database. And what about the cost? Apex is totally free. If you already have an Oracle database, you can install Apex there. Or you can use Apex and on-premises totally free using the Oracle Database Express Edition or you can use Apex on cloud totally free using the always free services. And who is using Apex? A number of companies across all industries are using Apex to solve their particular needs. So they have found that with Apex, they can not only deliver compelling applications, but also they can be productive like never before. Okay, so let's get started with the demo. And let me share with you the information that we have here. So, Basically, what we are going to do is to create an application 
to manage the Formula One data. So as you might know, uh, the Formula One session is about to start and uh, we have 22 races for this Formula uh, One session or uh, season. And uh, the idea with this application is that you can uh, see the information for each of the races, but also that you can share this application uh, with your friends, with your peers, and you can add some feedback. For example, if you would like to add some details about the race or uh, any other uh, information that you would like to uh, put about one specific race that you can add that information in your application, okay? So what I'm going to do in order to create this application? I have here a JSON file, okay? So basically I have the information for each of the races, such as uh, the title, the start date, end date, the location of this race, uh, the country, the city, uh, the latitude, the longitude, and also I have some images for uh, these races. So I have the, Im the images for uh, Bahrain, for Saudi Arabia, for Australia, and more. Okay, so basically we have 22 races here. And also I have the flag of the country to use inside of the application. So what I'm going to do is instead of using this JSON file, I'm going to convert this in a real application. And then you can share this application with your friends or your peers. Okay, so now let's move on to Apex. All right, so in Apex, I'm going to use apex.oracle.com, where you can uh, request a free workspace to create your uh, prototypes or evaluate Apex, but also uh, you can use Oracle Cloud. And at the end of the session, I will share with you a link so you can sign up for an Oracle free trial account. Okay, so we have here Apex, and let me show you uh, what you are going to get with Apex. First, uh, the app builder where you can create and maintain the applications. Also the SQL workshop where you are going to find a number of utilities to create uh, database objects or to run SQL commands, uh, to create SQL scripts and, and a number of other utilities. The team development allows you to manage and track your Apex applications. And the gallery uh, contains a number of applications that you can install in your Apex environment. All right, so let's start creating this application. Okay, so let me create this application. What we are going to do is to create the application from a file, but remember, in, in case that you have your own existing uh, database objects, you can uh, create the application. And for that, you can use the, this first option. All right, so let me go to drag my JSON file here. And let's enter the name of this table. So remember, we are going to uh, move all of this data to a table in the database. Okay, so I'm going to enter the name of this table and now we can see the, uh, the data in a pre-visualization. Pre okay, so everything looks fine. Let's load this data. Okay, so the table was created with 22 uh, rows, and now we can move forward to create the application. All right, so at this point, we can define 
uh, the name of the uh, application, the appearance, what are the pages that we are going to include in this application, and many other features or settings that we can define for this uh, application. Okay, so let me enter the name for this. Oops. For example, F Formula One races. And now we can define the appearance for this application. I'm going to use the beta dark, uh, but later you can select another style or define different uh, settings for the style of this application. We save the changes. And now we can define the pages that we would like to use in this application. We have some suggestions here, uh, but I'm going to make some enhancements here. For example, I'm going to remove this home page. Also, I'm going to remove this dashboard. And we have the face search page. Uh, but let's edit this page a little bit. And instead of having a report, I'm going to use a card region in order to display more information about each of the uh, races. Okay, so here is the table, the, the table that we just create about the races. And what are the information that we are going to display in each of the uh, cards? So uh, for the cards, we are going to display the country, for example, and that's all, okay? And then when the application is created, we can enhance even more this region. Let's save the changes. And now we have the interact report with the form. So basically we have two pages, one for uh, the interactive report that allows you to uh, visualize the data, but also um, we are going to include a form so you can manage the data. So for example, if you would like to edit the title uh, or the end date, the start date of each of the races, you can do it. All right, so we have uh, the table again. <clears throat> which is an interactive report and we are including the form, okay? <clears throat> and uh, lastly, we have the calendar. And in this calendar, we are going to display the title of the race. For example, let's select the start date and the end date, that's all. Also, we can add more pages to this application, such as a maps region, for example, this one. <clears throat> example, let's enter the name of this page. Again, where is this information in the races table? Uh, and what about the geometric columns? So we have the longitude and the latitudes. So let's use that information, okay? And we can use a tooltip tool column, okay? It can be the title, the country, whatever you want to display there. All right. <clears throat> so now we can install we can install some features. For example we can select the progressive web application so users can install this application in this in his device or their device okay you can select other features or uh, even in the settings you can define the language for this application the type of authentication and even more so i'm going to create these applications this application and even after the application is created, we can go back or to any of these pages and make some enhancements or edit anything that you would like to change. Okay, let's run this application now. 
enter the username and the password. Okay, so first we have the uh, face search with the cars region. So the face search allows you to uh, filter the data easily. So you are going to find a number of faces that allows you to filter the cards that we have in the right search, okay? But we can enhance a little bit this page. So we are going to use the developer toolbar in order to go directly to this page and edit the page. The developer toolbar is this bar that you are going to find here is only available if you are uh, running Apex as a developer, all right? So let's edit this page first. And the first thing I, will, I'm, I want to do is that um, we have some, for example, we, are, we have here total row count. It will be better to have another name for the uh, total row and also the charts and probably are not so interesting for this type of uh, application. So let's edit the face search region. And this is the page designer where you can edit and uh, maintain your pages, okay? So first we have the, uh, we have three sections. First, uh, this section contains all the components in your Apex application. Then you are going to have the layout, which is a pre-visualization of your page. At the bottom, you are going to find the regions, items and buttons. So you can drag and drop the uh, component to the page. And lastly, we have this third, uh, panel where you can have, where you can find the properties or attributes to, um, to define or to make changes to a, a particular component. So in this case, I have selected the face of search, okay? And we have some attributes here, okay? So for example, I don't want to show charts for this case for this page. So I will select, no, I will not, I don't want to show charts. And for the total row count label, I can put something like total races. And after making those changes, I can just save and play or save and run the page. And I can see those changes here. All right, so we don't have the show charts anymore and we have just this um, total row for uh, the number of uh, rows that we have in this page. Okay, what is we can do? So we have some faces like the latitude, the longitude and the flag. This is not so interesting for users. So let's remove those faces you can use, uh, you can right click on the faces to delete or just use the delete, delete button to delete those faces, okay? We can add more faces, but before that, I would like to add more information in this, uh, in this region. For example, if we go to the cars region, we are using the races table we have here, here, but I would like to add more information. For example, it would be nice that users can um, filter the data by the month. So if they are going to be interesting to see the races for July, for June, for April, whatever month, it would be nice to select those or to filter that information easily. And for that, I would like to add a new column here in this SQL query to extract the month of the race. And also right here, I would like to have something like this to see exactly 
the month and the day that this race is starting and the day that this race is ending. So in order to see, In order to see what you are going to get after running this SQL query, let me show you using the SQL commands. Okay, so let's put here the SQL query. Let's run it. Let's see. Okay, let's start date, okay. All right, so we have uh, the URL, the city, the flag, the image, uh, but now we have also the month of the race, for example, March, April, and also we have the month and the day. So something like this, the month here, the start date, day and the end day, okay? So we can use that information in the cars region. Let me put here the comma. Okay, now we can use that one column to include it here in the faces. So let's create a new facet. Let's enter the name of this facet. Okay, and we can run it to see how it looks. All right, so now we can, for example, I would like to know whether the races that are taking place on October. Okay, so it's Japan, United States, and Mexico. Let's go back to the page to make some enhancements here. And now I would like to uh, edit the cards region. So let's go to the attributes. And for the title, we have the country. For uh, the subtitle, we can have uh, the title of the race. Um, for the body, for example, we can put here the months and the day. Let's up, and we can include some HTML here, for example, something like this, or whatever other things that you would like to add here, or add more and more columns to this expression. Okay, so for the icon and the badge, we are going to include the flag of the country that we have here, okay? And the position, let's put it in the top. And the bash, it will be the seal. Okay, so let's see how it looks. Every time that you make any change, you can save and run the page in order to see if this is what you want or you prefer another option. Okay, looks nice. So let's go back and add some media here. So I have the URL of the image for each of the races. So this is in the image column, all right? So we are going to, we have different options here. We can put it, we can put this image at the body, at the first, as a background image or uh, different options for the appearance or the sizing. Yes. Select these options to see how it looks. Okay, looks nice. Let's remove the filter to see all the cards region. Okay, looks nice. Also, we can use this quick edit. Okay, so we have different styles here. For example, to select what you prefer. I like this style, I prefer this one. So let's save. Looks nice. And anytime you can come back to the page and make and keep 
editing your page. Okay, so what else we can add here? It will be nice that when we uh, click on one of the options, it takes you to the Formula One page. So for that, let's go back to the, the page designer and create an action. Okay, so we are going to create um, this action to takes you to directly to the Formula One race. Okay, so we have the URL. In the URL column of the table. Okay, and it will be nice, for example, uh, if when users click on the, on the cards, it opens a new table, a new window, sorry. So let's copy this and run it. So let's click on this option in this card. Okay, so we can see the details for Bahrain. Uh, let's open another one, for example, Monaco. And we can see the details for uh, each of the races. Perfect. All right, so what else do we have here? Okay, so we have uh, the interactive report with the form. Okay, and we have all the information here. Probably there are some columns that are not so interesting for the users. And for that, we can use this action menu in order to uh, select what are the columns that we want to display for this report. So. I'm going to get rid of the URL, for example, uh, the latitude, the longitude, and I'm going to move this title to the top. I'm going to move the country to the top. Now we have the city. I'm going to uh, remove the flag. So we have now the title, the country, the city, the end date, and the start date. So let's put here first the start date apply and now it looks much better now it's easily to see the information you can add many many other uh, customizations to this report so for example if you want to filter the data or you can create aggregations computations uh, you can create a chart based on this information um, you can download this information or send it send this information as an email. For example, you can download as a PDF, Excel, or send as an email. I'm going to save this report as a default. Perfect. And now you can create or uh, edit the information. You can have this button in case that we have uh, a new a race, you can add here the information or you can go to edit one of the rows, okay? Looks like this page needs some enhancement, okay? So we can go to the page, in this case, this is the page number three to make some edits here. Again, we are using the page designer. We have the form region here. And let's see the layout. So I look at, I, I would like to move the title to the top, for example, then uh, to put here the country, the city, something like this. Um, the, okay, so let's try to put here um, the URL, the flag. A start date. So the idea is that you can drag and drop the items in order to um, to custom your form region. Okay, let's put it here. Okay, it looks better now. Now I can save the changes and go back to my application to see those changes. Okay, looks like doesn't look well, so let me refresh this. 
And let's go back to the page number three. All right, so let's see. All right, something like this. Okay, looks better. So in case that you want or you need to, um, to change the start date or the end date of this race, you can use the date picker to select the start date, the end date, or for example, if they change the country or they change the title, you can go back here and edit the information. Okay, nice. Now let's go back, let's go to the calendar. And so we have the, uh, for example, in March, we have two uh, races. It is starting on the on 18th on this month. And, but we only have the title and the end, start date and the end date. We, I would like to add more information here for example, we can go to the to this page. In this case, is the page number four. This is the color that region, and we have some attributes here. So uh, we can add more information. We can add, for example, I would like to display the country uh, or the city that this is taking place. For example, let me grab some information. For example, we can put here the country, the city, and we can add a link. For example, if you would like to, when users click on the event, it takes you to the Formula One uh, page or any, any other page, for example. Let's run it to see these changes. Okay, so we have the country and the city right there. You can add more information depending on what you want to display on this page. Okay, what else we have here? Lastly, we have the map uh, region. So users can see where is the uh, circuit or the race is taking place. For example, we have, um, Brazil, we have Mexico, the uh, United States, what else do we have here? Singapore, Australia, okay? So we can edit this uh, map in order to see more information or um, to allow you easily to go directly to one of these, uh, to one of these uh, places. So let's go to this page. So we have the map a region here, and here are the layers, sample, and here are the information for uh, the longitude and the longitude. So in this case, we are using the two columns right here, but you can use uh, the SDU geometry, a geometry column, or you can use the GeoJSON as well. All right, so for example, uh, we can make some changes. Uh, in the shape, for example, you can use the shape of each of the points. Okay, you can use a different shape, for example, or add more information. Remember that if you have any questions, please post those in the Q&A. Uh, or so in that way, Jason can uh, help you to solve those questions. All right. What else we can do here? So let's go to the map. Let's see the attributes. So it will be nice to use the mouse wheel to zoom to the map. Uh, I would like to show you my browser location, for example. So let's run it. Okay, so we can use the mouse, mouse wheel. 
to go directly to one of these uh, points in the map. And also I have here this bottom, the current location to take me directly where I am. All right, how it looks. Awesome, right? All right. So now we have a decent application, right? But uh, the last thing that I would like to do here is to uh, allow you to uh, add your own information about the race. For example, you would like to add some comments uh, about the race, whatever you would like to add here about the race, so how we can do it. So I'm going to create a new table to save all of these uh, comments that you may have about the race. And for that, I'm going to use the quick SQL. So with that, I'm going to create a, a table, right? Really quick. For example, I'm going to create the name remark. Let's enter an ID and also I would like to have the ID of the race. So this is the, um, the foreign key for the table that we create and the name of the table is um, races, right? Let's put it up the case. And now let's add the, your comment or your feedback or your remark about the rice. Okay, so let's set some settings. For example, I would like to know uh, who add this comment. So let's, and let's include the audit columns, okay? There are many other options. I think we are ready with this. And let's see the SQL. So we have uh, the table here. We have the ID uh, of the row. We have the, what else do we have here? The foreign key, okay, for the traces table. Uh, and we have some triggers. Okay, looks nice. Now let's, uh, save this script Something like this, script number one. Let's save it and let's review it and run it. Okay, again, we have the, the table, right? Some audit columns, index, some triggers. Okay, so let's run it. Okay, perfect. Uh, we have now, if we go to the SQL workshop of your browser, we can have the two uh, tables, one for the races, okay, and the remark, okay. If we go to the constraints, we have the foreign key to the races table, all right? So now, we can add a sample and interactive grid to keep all of these comments or remarks about one So I'm going to edit this page. All right, and let's create a interactive report, sorry, interactive grid here. All right. And what is the name of this table? Is the remark table? Okay. And region is going to be enabled to edit. So users not only can visualize the data, but also they can maintain this data, okay? 
So let's enable this option. And now, oh, I forgot to enter the name of this sample comment. The name of this region, let's see the columns. We have the ID, which is, which is a hidden uh, item, right? We have the ID of the race. Right, it should be hidden, right? So, and the default value of this, uh, of this item should be the ID of the race. So I'm going to use the ID of the race that we have here, right here, that, that is also hidden. And let's hide all of these columns. And what is that? Great. So we only have the comments right here. Let's save the changes and let me open again this model page. Okay, so we have here, we can add more uh, comments or feedback about a particular race. For example, you would like to add the fastest lab was something like this. So you can apply the changes or save the record, the, the region and add more comments to this, uh, to the race, All right? So let me go back here. Like we'd like to see something here to move the, how we are saving the information. Let's save it and go back. Something like this, apply the changes. And if we go back to this row, I'm going to find all uh, the, the comments or feedback that I have had to this uh, particular race. Let me open again and I'm going to find here all the details. So the same way we, we can do for other races that you can add your own feedback or your own comments uh, uh, to one of the races, okay? So you can filter, for example, uh, the, the information that you would like to show uh, for the races, for example, you can Put here, I would like to filter um, ID, ID, the race should be equal to ID that we have here, which is the item of the race. Okay, so let's enter the ID. Need one second, Okay, so let's see the changes in my page, right? So let's see another one, perfect. So now we only have, we are only displaying the data or the comments or the feedback for one of the particular uh, races, okay? Now, I would like to talk about the team roller, which is something that you can find in the developer toolbar. So you can use team roller to change the appearance of this uh, application. OK. 
Okay, so we have some uh, styles here. We can use uh, the beta or use the beta red or the slate sample, or you can define a particular colors for a Our Jason, Tara, can you please let me know if you are still seeing my screen, please? Yeah, it looks good. It looks good. Okay, thank you. Um, so, going back, uh, you can define your uh, default or your colors for the part for this uh, application. Uh, you can define the layout. You can define how um, how you would like to see the form region, or if you want, you can add your custom CSS code to uh, this um, to this style to use along the application. All right. So I'm going to go back to my style, but this is something that you can use and you don't need to be a CSS developer in order to make changes to the style of your application, all right? Also, I would like to show you that this application can be run, can be run on any device. For example, we can use, a, we can run it on an iPhone or we can run it um, on an iPad, whatever other device that you would like, you can use it. And probably you have seen that we have here this install uh, app option in the, in the bar. So you can install this um, application in your device. It can be in your, um, in your computer or in your a smartphone or in your uh, tablet. So you are going to find a quick um, button to open this uh, application. Okay, so for example, I can install it here, All right? So I don't need to bookmark this URL. I can go directly to, I can just click on, um, on, the, on the icon of the application and open it, all right? Okay, so what is you are going to find inside of Apex? So you are going to find the shared components where you can define the type of authentication. For example, if you would like to share this application with anyone else, or you prefer to share, uh, to be, to use this application completely public, you, your friends don't need to use, um, a new uh, user and a password to enter to this application, you can go to the authentication schema and say something like, oh, uh, I would prefer to no use authentication at all to this application. You apply the changes and now you can share the URL of this application with your friends and they don't need to uh, enter credentials in order to run it. Okay. Uh, Jason, I don't know if there are any other uh, particular questions that we can solve at this moment. Yeah, Monica, somebody asked if the uh, JSON file that you used is going to be made available so they can download it and create the same app. Uh, that's a good question. And okay, if you're interested, I can put I can put this uh, JSON file and share it uh, later. So uh, I'm going to put it on my uh, social network or even in the LinkedIn group that we have on a for apex uh, Let me show you the links. So if you go to apex.oracle.com slash shortcuts, you are going to find the links to the social media. So we have a group on LinkedIn. This is a... Um, ah, something, someone say that you, I can post it on the Slack channel as well. Okay, perfect. Uh, I'm not sure which 
which of the Slack channel, but I will do it, all right? Uh, but also I'm going to put it on the social media so anyone can download it again later, all right? Okay, so with that, I'm concluding uh, the demo. I hope that you have found this demo interesting and in case that you want to learn more about Apex, you can go to apex.oracle.com. You are going to find their tutorials, uh, videos, and a number of resources so you can learn more about Apex. Also, we have the blogs, which is you can find it in apex.oracle.com slash blog. And uh, the Apex short code that I already mentioned, where you can find the documentation links to one of the particular versions that we have for Apex. All right, and I guess you want more Slack. So as I said before at the beginning, you can sign up for an Oracle Cloud free tier. So please use this link to uh, sign up for an Oracle free tier. You don't need uh, to enter your card, your credit card information. And when you uh, have your Oracle Cloud free tier, in case that you have a uh, provision, an autonomous database or an Apex service, make sure that you check the option always free. In that way, you can use these services for a limited time. Okay, so you are going to get some services that are always free, but also there are some other services that you can use for 30 days. Okay, so it's better to use the always free options that can be available and can be used for a limited time. And do you wish, in case that you want, or you wish to test your pipe knowledge and challenge your peers, go through this link to take the quiz. Then you can share your bash on social media. And don't forget that we have many, many other uh, sessions today. So also we have some sessions in Spanish and Portuguese. So stay here to see more uh, about uh, Oracle in this PI event. Okay, thank you everyone. I'm not sure if there's something else, uh, Jason. The question was asked that if we were both in an F1 race, who would win, me or you? I told him you would win because I'm getting old. I'm slow. <laughs> so funny. Okay, so I'm going to put here to put uh, the JSON so you can create uh, the application. I would like to to see your application live, and if you have any questions after this session, please let us know. Jason and I uh, are on Twitter, LinkedIn, and we can uh, help you with your questions. All right, so have a nice day. Bye. Thank you, Monica. Thank you, everyone. Happy Pi Day. Thank you, bye.